Good evening and welcome to Vision of Asia, the news you can trust and events that move and celebrate our very own South Asian community. This is Pia Jyoti Khatru coming to you from our ITV Gold studio in New Jersey. In the headlines today, we have World Vegan Vision Thanksgiving Lunch Celebration Unites Community in a Plant-Based Feast. Indian Overseas Congress USA hosts mega event in New Jersey chapter meeting and Diwali celebrations at Royal Albert Palace. Association of Indians in America, AIA, lights up Guru Palace in North Brunswick, New Jersey with spectacular Diwali celebration. Stay with us on Vision of Asia for news in detail right after the short break. World Vegan Vision hosted a delightful Thanksgiving lunch celebration on Sunday, November 19th at the Spa Lounge in Galaxy Tower, Gutenberg, New Jersey. The event brought together individuals passionate about veganism for an afternoon filled with fun, food, music and engaging discussions on plant-based living. Renowned chief guest Satish Karandakar and guest of honor Padmashri recipient Dr. Sudhir Parikh from Parikh Worldwide Media along with World Vegan Vision founder and chairman H.K. Shah and Malti Shah graced the occasion sharing insights and inspiration. Nitin Vyas, the organizer, ensured a memorable gathering for friends and family dedicated to the vegan lifestyle. Take a look. We got it the cow century, but a century it will never use the Something that comes from the cows, right? If it's a cow century, they should just leave the cows alone. But they're actually getting it. And uh, including some documentary I'm trying to do uh, related to uh, some things which are not that well publicized. Uh, Panmasri Dr. Sudhir Parikh is here. Would you like to come and share and wish everyone a happy vegan Thanksgiving? And in the, any time in the future, any planning and to promote the veganism is a media type and too. Well, dear friends, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And uh, really, I'm uh, kind of uh, privileged to be a founding member with the HK uh, of Vegetarian Vision in '92. And uh, I can, I'm very happy to see it came long way from vegetarian to now vegan vision. And you are making uh, everyone's life more healthier, happier. So. Try to be vegetarian uh, and vegan if possible, and uh, uh, this is a way to live and live longer. Again, God bless you. God bless vegan vision, and uh, God bless uh, uh, Eshkesha and Malkisha. Thank you, Doctor. A little unprepared here, but uh, having so many Indian vegans in the room is very inspiring and. Uh, you know, we try to do whatever we can to support this good work of World Vegan Vision. I only found out a few months ago when they did their program at the temple. I said, who's doing a vegan program at a temple? So, of course, you know, the Guru Arpan Temple in New Jersey is the first vegan wooden shala, I think, at any temple. I think maybe in the world. So, but, so please visit if you can. And fully supporting, I mean, we are trying to find ways what we can do in our Indian community to uh, somehow inspire to get off our dairy. As I think the rabbi said very beautifully about how dairy is so cruel. It took me 10 years to, after I became vegetarian, to become vegan. This propaganda is so strong. Indians think the cow is not dying. What is there? You know? Hello. Welcome to the 2023 Thanksgiving celebration of World Vegan Vision, New Jersey. Yeah, we will have a, a big program lined up here and uh, we are all waiting for the arrival of the chief guest. We'll start pretty soon, thanks. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Nitin Vyas. I'm a public relations director for the World Vegan Vision. And today is a very proud moment. We are celebrating the first vegan Thanksgiving. So we have been uh, uh, organizing and celebrating the vegan Thanksgiving since five years. So we just completed five years. And uh, as the people, those who don't know about the World Vegan Vision, we are promoting the healthy life vegan way. So wherever we get the platform, we always promote. We always believe that uh, if we don't fix the problem, our grandkids, you know, and they are the one who's going to suffer. Uh, and uh, we are working, you know, to make the planet more cleaner, greener and healthier. 
enjoy the Thanksgiving dinner. Just Diwali passed and now this is the Thanksgiving. So hope everybody enjoy and try to become a vegan because vegan is very healthy food and it's a very healthy and save the cow and all. That's what we think because it's our stomach. It is not a graveyard. So better to eat the nice healthy vegetarian food. And thank you very much. My name is Malpisha. I'm a uh, HKSR's wife and a, a vice president's wife. Hello, uh, everyone. My name is Geeta, and I am uh, today joining a nice, beautiful event. Today is uh, from organized by World Vegan Vision by HKSA, and all the food, if you can see, is all are vegan and dairy free. I would like you guys to join our World Vegan Society and help and uh, spread the awareness about the World Vegan Vision. Thank you so much everyone for coming here and celebrating with us Thanksgiving Day with us. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hello everyone. It's my true honor to present World Vegan Vision's premier event, which is our Thanksgiving Gala. Uh, a little bit about World Vegan Vision. World Vegan Vision is an organization, is a visionary organization whose mission is to create awareness about veganism. And we, th we do that through outreach, advocacy, and education. And we, our three main pillars that define our mission are veganism for health, for health of the animals, and health of the planet. And today, we have all these wonderful guests coming from everywhere, all the way from, from New Jersey, all corners of New Jersey, and all the way from upstate New York, New York City, to enjoy a plant-based, a hundred percent plant-based vegan meal with all of us. Hi, my name is Neetu Jinda. I'm part of World Vegan Vision. I'm vice president at the New Jersey chapter. Uh, we are trying to set an example over here with uh, a vegan Thanksgiving. Unfortunately for many turkeys around the world, this uh, festival means death for them and turkey becomes sort of the centerpiece of a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, we are setting an example by serving a vegan meal to all our guests over here and uh, giving an example that you can still enjoy food, you can still enjoy your holidays, but you don't have to hurt an animal. My name is HK Sa. I'm the founder chairman of World Vegan Vision. Started in 1992. We are completing 31 years, entering 32 years and we have good support from the community. Today we have a function in New Jersey and also in Long Island. Two functions in one day. Thank you for giving this opportunity. On November 17th, the Indian Overseas Congress USA hosted a dazzling event combining the New Jersey chapter meeting with vibrant Diwali celebrations at the illustrious Royal Albert Palace. Attendees seized a unique opportunity to interact with key figures, including the esteemed global chairman Sam Petroda and the influential leaders of the New Jersey chapter, Chairman Harkesh Thakur and President Peter Kotari. This gathering served as a dynamic platform fostering meaningful interactions and discussions on a range of pertinent topics. I'm not going to give a long speech here. I want to thank my chairman, Arkezi, for his inspiration and encouragement for whatever you see in today. Any event requires a strong support and encouragement. And that is what it is. I got it from him. And I am really so thankful to him and the rest of the committee, the rest of my vice chair, and all of his fellows, as well as committee people. And thank you very much. So we can begin our event. Our global chairman, Honorable Sam Mitrodaji, will be here in the next few minutes. So, let's make you welcome him and 
will proceed with our program. And the strength today, here, it gives us so much inspiration and encouragement. Because without that, we cannot all do what we want to do for Congress. We are a committed, dedicated, Congress man and woman for better tomorrow. So let's enjoy the evening, let's celebrate the Diwali and wait to hear from our chat. It's not easy to spend four hours on Friday evening for an event like this. So I sincerely appreciate your commitment, your support, and your ongoing help. Also, I want to thank you for all the good wishes on my birthday. I have two birthdays. This is the real one on November 16th. And I will be 82. I was born in 1942. I was born in British Raj, in Orissa, in a small little tribal village where we Hindu, Muslim, Jain, Sikh, and tribal Oriya all lived together in front of each other, played together, went to school together at home. And that's the India I grew up with. India rooted in diversity, democracy, Justice, freedom, inclusion, these were the ideas in the air in those days because of Mahatma Gandhi. Truth, trust, love were not just words. We lived with those ideas growing up as little kids. Association of Indians in America, AIA Diwali celebration at Guru Palace in North Brunswick, New Jersey, held on November 19th, was a vibrant affair marked by cultural richness and joyous festivities. The event featured Seema Iyer, ESQ, a distinguished senior prosecutor and renowned Bharatanatyam dancer who graced the occasion with a captivating performance on Bollywood songs. Attendees enjoyed a delightful array of activities including a couple's fashion show, delectable food, an open bar, games and dancing, creating a memorable and spirited celebration of the Festival of Lights.
Seema Iyer, and I was very honored to be able to perform at the AIA event for Diwali. It was such a well put together show, and I was very grateful that the audience was so receptive to my choreography choices. We did a wide array, uh, excuse me, a wide array of uh, performances tonight. Yes, my name is Kaushik Swaminathan. I'm the vice president of the Association of Indians in America, New Jersey chapter. And I'm also a member of a band called Gypsy Funk Squad. I thought the name was Bohemian Funk Squad. Oh yeah, we, we were about to change it to Bohemian Funk Squad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we play music from all around the world. We hear something, we yeah, like it. You should tell them your name. Oh, my name? Yeah. I'm Jack. Yeah. <laughs> also known as Giacomo. Anyway, we, we play music from all around the world. If we hear something with a rhythm that we like or a melody, we'll take it and maybe we'll change it up, maybe put some new lyrics, or maybe not, or maybe mix it up with another song. And it just keeps the music evolving. And that's kind of like the folk tradition, and it keeps it... Happy Deepavali to all of you. Um, I am Ram Thirumala from AAA New Jersey, president of AAA New Jersey. Uh, AAA is an organization, national organization with chapters at different places. Uh, New Jersey chapter is one of the active chapters in this region. And I have next to me Mr. Govind Munjal, uh, president of the national AIA. Hello, happy Diwali to everybody. I'm Govind Munjal. I'm the national president of AIA. And here we are gathered here today, uh, our New Jersey chapter is celebrating Diwali. So Diwali is a big uh, festival for India and it has significance of victory over evil, knowledge over ignorance and light over darkness. So it is a universal acceptance now. Everybody wants to now celebrate. And the best thing I can tell you is that in New York City, this has been declared as a public holiday in the, all the schools, all the public schools. So now the children can stay with the family and enjoy, and this is all because of AIA and with the help of Jadifar Rajkumar and Mayor Eric Adams. So happy Diwali again to everybody. Thank you. I am um, Dr. Bharti Palkhiwala, past president of New Jersey chapter. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. This uh, after a long time we have a, uh, arranged Diwali function for New Jersey chapter. Diwali has become a big thing this year. I see so many places, the holidays and school in school. You know, my grandchildren's school children's school, they're celebrating Diwali, they have holidays. They're talking about, um, my daughter went and I talked about uh, Diwali, read the book, and I'm sure this is happening in every school. So this is becoming, a Diwali is a big festival for all our Indian and American are coming to know much more about it. I'm so happy about it. And New Jersey's chapter today, very, very happy to be here. Happy Diwali to everybody, thank you and our AIA will continue to work with our New Jersey and other chapters uh, together and improve our lives for Indian here. Thank you. Happy Diwali. <laughs> yeah. Happy Diwali to everyone, uh, Vice President uh, AIA National. And uh, it, it, we had a wonderful program today and the audience participated, and there were beautiful dances, and uh, great food, and uh, uh, also uh, uh, a lot of celebrities who had shown up. So we are very pleased and happy. I'm Dr. Pakshivala, I'm a part of AIA. For so many years, AIA is the oldest Indian association in United States, and has worked wonders for Indian population who migrated to USA for better of life, progress, and for humanity.
I am proud to be a member for last 45 years since the inception of the AIA. Wishing everyone a happy Diwali, happy new year and prosperous and healthy one. Thank you. I just want to add one more thing. Uh, recently, this year, a Minnesota state go governor celebrated Diwali in the Minnesota state capital. And this is the first ever Diwali celebrated in Minnesota. So now we can say that we want to bring, take this Diwali to all the states where Diwali is not celebrated. And we would like each and every state to celebrate in their state capital. Thank you. Happy Diwali again. Just to add, uh, Mr. Dr. Munjal, uh, New Jersey State also celebrates uh, Diwali and uh, also the New York State um, Governor also had a Diwali function. So Diwali is definitely uh, becoming an important part of citizens of USA. So as we, though we come from India, we are all part of US citizens, so we should celebrate it. Happy Deepavali. And it is a matter of pride that Indians can now openly celebrate Diwali. And it, it used to be inside the houses quietly with little sparklers. Now it's official. Now Indians celebrate it openly with Americans. Thank you. We, uh, we together will continue to celebrate uh, Happy Diwali. Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. And from the news and entertainment at ITV Gold, enjoy Family Movie Friday at 8.30 p.m. Mera Gaon Mera Desh. Saturday 1 p.m. Eastern, watch Jab Jab Fool Khile and book your blockbuster Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern for Gold Mall. And that's a wrap on Vision of Asia tonight. You can send us your suggestions and community news that you would like us to cover for our print and television coverage at events at itvgold.com or you can also send it to me at pr at itvgold.com. Follow us on our Facebook handle at itvgold. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and pick up a free copy of Desi Talk if you are in the tri-state or in the Chicago area for community news, entertainment and events in U.S. You can also read the News India Times newspaper online at www.newsindiatimes.com or subscribe to the hard copy by calling 212-675-7515. This is Pia Jyoti Kachru signing off.